I haven't been here since 2019 due to COVID, but I'm excited to be here today. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Lexington, Kentucky to Masterson Station Park to the Kentucky Sheep and Fiber Festival. Yes, last year they did not have it. I don't know if it was virtual or not, but you couldn't come here and see the sheep and the alpacas and the goats. This year you can, and I'm excited to bring you along. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. There are fewer vendors this year because of COVID, so the barn's closed and there won't be as much to see, but I'm still glad to be here. There's livestock in this tent, so let's go check them out. And here are two Jacob sheep with their mom. Her two lambs are 40 days old. And here's a Shetland sheep. And these are bags of fleece. And on the bags, there's photos to show you what kind of fleece it is. Some of the vendors here are shave them to save them providers. And here are one of my favorite animals, the llama. Not many people are aware of it, but llamas are also a good source of fiber. And over here is a relative of the llama, the alpaca. They too are a camelid that produces wonderful fiber. And this beautiful rabbit is an angora. And this rabbit is a French angora. The white sheep in the foreground is a border lester, and the brown one in the background is a Wensleydale. And here are a couple of gorgeous angora goats. I remember seeing this vendor before. This is yarn birds. And these are some of the yarns they sell. This booth is created for you by Laura and she hand dyes all the yarn. And look at the beautiful colors. I like the name of this booth. It's called Unplanned Peacock Studio, hand dyed yarn and fiber. Over here you can buy patterns for certain items and they have the finished product. And wait till I show you these socks. I like these bat socks, although they might even be able to double as Mothman socks. And these are some of the colors that the Unplanned Peacock offer. And this is Lulu. Hey Lulu, how are you? I like the name of this booth. It's Apothecary Fabrications. And here's her business card. And she has lots of great colors as well. Check these out. And this is Stella, and she is a Irish Wolfhound puppy. This is Deep Dyed Yarns by Lunabud Knits. And let me show you what she sells. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there are some sparkles mixed in with the yarn.
This is Allegheny Fiber Arts, and she makes handmade project bags, correct? And then also um, my hand dyed yarn. I use all of eco friendly dye um, to minimize my footprint. These are really creative project bags. Let me show you some of the patterns. So when she makes the project bag, she also includes this divider too, which is nice. I like the name of this shop. It's called Crazy Goat Lady Soap Company. And look at this. These are cupcakes made out of soap. And this booth is called Bewitched Pigments. And the names of the fibers have witchy themes. Like Charmed, Magic, Incantation, Alchemy, Spellbound, and Imbolc. This is really clever. This booth, they dyed yarn to match the poster of this year's Sheep and Fiber Festival. This is Julie's Fiber Treasures, and she makes really great needle felted animals. And wait till you see these. And if you get hungry at the festival, you can get Old Kentucky Kettle Corn, hamburgers and hot dogs, lemonade, sodas and floats, and beer. This booth is Bernard Family Farm. And wait till you see what they sell. They sell felted soap and little alpacas. Well, it's been a big day. It's been sunny and bright. There's been goats, alpacas, sheep, and look who I ran into, Serena from last time. I think Hi. it was two years ago. Yeah, I believe two. it was. And Serena is the first person who recognized me walking around. So I thought, what a great reunion. And tell everybody about your place. So I'm Fiber Culture Farm. I'm the owner and manager of Fiber Culture Farm in Lancaster, Kentucky. Um, I have 36 acres. I have alpacas, sheep, uh, goats, chickens, ducks, everything else um, fiber related and farming related. And I might be blogging down there soon. True. Hopefully he'll so, come visit the farm and you can see more of it. Yes, and Serena subscribes and hopefully you will too. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, ring notification bell. It's free to subscribe and share on your social media. So until next time, this is Cashew with Serena signing off. Yeah, I've seen you all up here. Yeah, I'll have all kinds of